Today I'm going to show you how to dump your Nintendo DS firmware and BIOS files for use in Nintendo DS emulation through Desmumi or Melon DS. To get started, we are going to need a couple of items. First of all, we will need a DS or DS Lite and a DS flash cart. Unfortunately, DSIs and 3DSs do not work for this. They will need to be these original systems. And DS flash carts can be found most anywhere for around 20 bucks these days. The next thing we are going to need is a piece of homebrew for the Nintendo DS called DSBF Dump. Unfortunately, the original site that has hosted this file has long since vanished and a lot of other sites I could find it on all required registration and I did not like that. So I have sourced this piece of homebrew and uploaded it to Dropbox so you can all get it easily, no signups, nothing required, and it's ready to go. So to get this file, just go ahead and click the link in my description below. It'll bring you to this screen right here where you could just click the download button and then direct download. And no, you don't need to sign up with Dropbox. There we go. Once you have this file downloaded, you can go ahead and get it extracted. And inside the folder, there will be two different types of homebrew. So there is the slot one version for DS flashcards or the slot two version if you still happen to be using an older slot two GBA style flashcard on your DS. From here, we're going to need to copy the homebrew of our choice into our DS flash cart. So I have my DS flash cart SD card inserted here. I'm just going to make a new folder because my flash cart will let me see games from any folder or let me choose folders. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that in there. Exit out of that. From here, just go ahead and get your SD card inserted back into your DS flash cart here. and then insert that into your DS. From here, we're gonna go ahead and get the DS turned on. Gonna boot up our flash cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch into game. And down at the very bottom of my games list is the dsbfdump.nds file. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And it will go ahead and dump those files. Very quick process as you see. After that's done, just go ahead and turn off the DS. And then we'll take the SD card back out. Now with our SD card back on our computer, we can go ahead and grab the files that were just dumped using that piece of homebrew. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those over here. And I just leave a backup on my DS flash cart anyway, just in case I ever need it again. Don't have to go through the whole process, it's there, yay. These aren't ready to use in their current state. They do need to be renamed. So the firmware file, which is the only bin file you get by default, it needs to be renamed firmware.bin and then our two BIOS files need to be named bios9.bin yes I want to change the file extension it's okay to rename it dot bin that's how you do it and then bios7.bin And there you go. These firmware files and BIOS files are now ready to be used in Nintendo DS emulations. So if you want to see how to set up the DS emulators, check out my video on how to do so by clicking the link in the top right or in the description. But that does it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have smooth sailing in your firmware dumping procedures. If you have any questions, make sure to go ahead and ask in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how enough how much this helps out the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button, that like dislike button, just depending how much you like today's tutorial. And if you'd like to further help support the channel, you can always click that join button here on YouTube or that Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. As always, I am just grateful for your consideration and to my current members and patrons, thank you so much for being my champions. Y'all rock. Can't do this without you. But anyway, that does it for today's video. So until next time, stay awesome and we will see you all back next video.